Hi, and welcome to part one of our Lakes and Lederhosen road trip review through France, but predominantly Italy and Germany. If you like what you see, then don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. In this part, we'll head across France, stopping at Molsheim before heading on to Lake Garda and Le Monsicada. Next stop at Trento and then on through Austria to the German border. In part two, we'll continue on to Augsburg, Regensburg, Nordingen and Heppenheim with plenty of stopovers en route. Both parts will be a mix of places we visit, plus more importantly the road sections in between. So without further ado, let's get started. And like most of our forays into Europe, it starts with the shuttle. A relatively simple 35 minute crossing, although I do lose an hour as we move into Central European time. This part of the journey is so simple that when we plan our trips we start to and from Calais. So my spreadsheet, oh yes I do have a spreadsheet, tells me that my journey once I reach Calais will be 379 miles or 611 kilometers until I reach Molsheim, our first destination. As part of the planning we like to arrive at a reasonably early time, so maybe 4pm, which limits the miles we can cover, but hey, you want to see a place when you get there. And then on to France's wonderful auto route system. I love these roads, they are so easy to drive. Yes, you do have the tolls, but it does make it easy. I believe we're going to be stumping up around about 30 to 40 euros for this journey across to Molsheim. So we arrive at Molsheim at a very reasonable 3pm local time, which gives us plenty of time to look around and explore the town. So we chose the town based on its distance from Calais, its size and the fact it's got plenty of restaurants. With the car parked up for the evening, a good look around town, we decide it's time for the driver to get watered. If you want to know more about Molsheim, I'll pop up a link to our video on the town so you can catch that later. It's also part of the playlist which appear at the very end of the video too. It's just the one evening in Molsheim which is a shame but after a good evening meal and a breakfast it's time to hit the road again. Now here's the problem with planning and spreadsheets, you don't always get it right. So today's estimate was for 444 miles or 716k. You jump in the car, you plug the next destination to the sat nav and it's 500 miles. So it's going to be a long one in the saddle, but hey, it looks pretty, doesn't it? It's going to be a day of auto routes, auto barns and auto stratas. But we've got cruise control, so let's just sit back and relax. I mentioned the tolls in France. Germany is generally toll free, but for Austria, you need a vignette. I planned our fuel stop near the Austrian border so we can pick one up there. And a 10 day vignette will cover us for our return journey through Austria too, so that's handy. It's great when you see a sign for Modena. You know you're in Italy and you haven't got far to go now. drive on the autostrada through northern Italy has been really beautiful but there's no better feeling than when you pull off and you get your first glimpse of Lake Garda. It's a few miles from here to our destination for the next three nights but believe me the journey is fantastic. We arrive at our destination of La Sagada at around 5pm. So a quick refresh and time to head out and discover the town. As you'd expect we've got a video of our time in the town. So I'll pop up a link ping, for that now. We loved our time here and it's not as expensive as you think. Our accommodation was around about 100 euros a night and that was with parking included and a breakfast. And eating out didn't cost a fortune either. 
we had a couple of pizzas, a bottle of wine, a lakeside view, and I think it was all under 50 euros. You should try and see more of Lake Garda too, either by ferry or like us you could do a road trip. And once again, bing, we've got a video on that. And of course there was refreshments for the driver. A limoncello spritz, once again by the lakeside. So darkness fell on our time in La Monsagada and we headed north to our next destination of Trento. A mere 35 miles or around about 55k. It was time to take the scenic route. And the scenic route meant heading up into the hills. And this is where the road trip took on a slightly slower pace. it was hard to believe I was actually in Italy and as you'd expect this area is very popular with cyclists motorcyclists and also hikers enjoying the fresh mountain air ah oh, those views and this road it's great when you feel like you've got the road almost to yourself And at the moment I'm navigating off piste using the sat nav just to guide us in the general direction of our final destination. And what I love is you've got no idea what you're going to end up facing, including this great section of road. So sometimes you may need to breathe in and tuck the sides of the car in because it can get a little narrow but hey we're on an adventure. I have to say on that relatively short journey from Lake Garda up to Trento we discovered such a variety of landscape. I'm so pleased we took the scenic route. So 
but shortly after lunch, we arrive at our destination of Trento. So why Trento, I hear you say? Well, the simple truth is we were meeting up with fellow travel bloggers at Traverse 19. So I guess now's the time to give a big shout out to Mel and Marcus from Fly Drive Explore, Bustle and Roma from Roaming Required, and Jessica and Sean from A Wanderlust for Life. There's plenty more I should mention, but unfortunately I'm running out of footage and I really need to tell you how nice Trento is. In fact, the whole Trentino region. And of course, we've got a video on that too. So now the journey from Trento to Augsburg and back to that infamous spreadsheet, which tells me the journey is going to be 217 miles or 350 kilometers thereabouts. So that tells me I can take a more relaxed route and that gives us time to explore more of the beautiful Trentino region of Italy. So a quick question to you good folks, does this type of road trip appeal to you? If so, just drop us a comment below along with any questions you may have. I mean, with a little planning, it's really quite straightforward. It's now time for a quick jump onto the autostrada for a short hop to take us into Austria. And now into Austria, we head off the motorways and once again take the scenic route. Damn, I bought that vignette too. But to be honest, I'm just loving these roads. It's funny how, after traveling a relatively short distance, you know you're in a different country. And there's that autobahn I could have been on up to our left there. But why would I? Look at this road. Have you noticed how much the environment has changed as we've moved into Austria? It's certainly got a different feel to it, hasn't it? This route appears popular with everyone who enjoys the open road. So just keep your eyes open for our friends on two wheels.
So as we approach the German border, it's time to say Auf Wiedersehen until part two. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that and our other travels as well. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Safe travels.